show today. Cheers to Cheers. you too and yeah, to you guys. Oh, I'm drinking this great dragon tea. Dragoon I'm, tea. I'm using the Ouija mug and she's using the... My favorite alien, alien mug. mug. You guys have seen me use this one before. Well, we just wanted to pop on and say hi to you guys. Welcome to Creative Visions TV. I'm Karen Dahlman and this is my board partner, Rodney. Hi. So what's been going on? You, you know, what I wanted to do is tell them what's coming up on Good idea. Friday, the 8th of June. 8th of June. We are going to be doing a live session on the board. That's right. The time is going to be 5.30 Pacific Daylight Time. Mm -hmm. That's 8.30 mm -hmm. for those people on the East Coast. And then beyond the East Coast, if you're in Canada, Australia, you figure it out. <laughs> There's so many time zones in Australia and other countries too. So just go, go figure it out what time it is for you. Um, and if you can't make it, I understand it might be three, four in the morning, one in the morning in certain places. Um, it will be played later. Now I know you don't get to ask your questions, but I'll tell you what we'll do. How's this sound? Like we did before? You know what I'm going to say. I know you're going to say, and here's my question before you say it. Won't they cover other people's they will, questions, but I whether still, they ask them or not? I still like pulling one or two out of the hat. All right. <laughs> So you guys, I'll tell you what, I just thought this right now. I just popped this on Rodney too, but he's right. When we get these messages, they're very universal in ways that you can find a message in it with, for yourself. And you guys know that from attending before. I'll tell you what, why don't you, in this, on this video, if you were lucky enough to watch this video, <laughs> and you're going to attend, or you, I'm sorry. You're you smart enough to watch this it, video. That's it. And you can't attend. So don't ask the question if you're going to be attending. That's really not fair. And if you attend, we're going to really let the time last two and a half, three hours to try to get to everybody's question. We did that last time. And then some people got to ask two questions. So if you're not going to be able to attend, you're in another country, the time doesn't work, or you're working that night, put, put it below your question you'd like to ask. And if it's more, well, if, even if it's private and you, you send it to me, I'm going to read it out loud if I pick it. We're going to pick either one or two of a hat. We can't get to them all, but at least gives you a chance to maybe your question will get to be asked um, on the show. So again, that's June 8th, uh, just a couple weeks from when we're filming this. We're filming this on, um, what is the day? Thursday. The 24th. Fourth. <laughs> so it's two weeks from tomorrow. So uh, um, when you see this video, it'll probably be, well, a week, probably a week. That's when we'll probably see it. You know, um, we are wearing our oh, um, yeah. Talking Board Historical Society shirt. She's wearing the contemporary one, yep. and I'm wearing the one with the skeletons. I was wondering, maybe we should make a t-shirt for Ooh. Creative Visions TV and, and have your How logo on it be? and then wear that when we do... I need a talented artist to help me. Oh, I forgot I was an artist. We still are. <laughs> we still are an artist. I was an artist. Um, that's an interesting idea. I'll, I'll play with that one with all the many things It just occurred to me. I, 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 yeah. yeah, he popped one on me and I popped one on him. Yeah, yeah exactly. So anyway, um, we were just talking to the guides uh, doing another session for ourselves. And they started talking about a whole idea of being a part of a group. And I feel like this show, this, your subscribers to this channel, this is a group in itself. And I'm getting to know a bunch of you and you, you see us all the time and getting to know us too. And um, the guides wanted to talk more about this group thing that they started talking to us about earlier. Could, I think this would be interesting and tell me what you think. Why don't we read them the message that we got to start this? I'd rather not because it belongs to a Talking Board Historical Society. I have to go over there and watch it there. Good one. Yeah, I think so because I want you guys to go over to TVHS and support us there and join our YouTube and join the Facebook page. So I'm sorry, Ronnie. So, no, I hope they do go in and, and see how this message started. began. Yeah. Because was, there was an acronym, which was I know, let's not get into it. I have a feeling, though, I don't want to say too much, I have a feeling it's going to go even deeper here. Because you guys are open to such deep things. And far out things. Like dragoons. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I say let's start. Oh, as always, Kate, we've already opened the board. We've already done our prayer. <coughs> Excuse we've, me. Are you okay? I'm fine. You want some tea? No, I'm good. And we did our prayer, we did our opening statement, we've already been talking, um, and now we're just going to pick right up where we left off. And you guys are also always protected when you do this work because the guys are here for all of us, protecting all of us and holding us in the light. So let me turn my little recorder on. I think 
and this is just my personal feeling, but I think you're always protected you unless are. you believe you're not. I just did a video about this. You guys haven't seen it yet. And I'll be releasing that one, oh, in a week or two. I haven't seen it. No, I know, you don't even know what my topic was. Uh -uh. But I did talk about that. That's a really, I'm glad you brought that up. Because there is a way to always be protected. Did I bring it up or did I oh. channel that? Oh, the Ouija whisperer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go, back to business. Today is May 22nd? Or fourth. Four. Ah, twenty fourth. May twenty fourth, two thousand eighteen. We're here with uh, Creative Visions TV channel subscribers. Okay, here we go. Look at long date down there. Okay, let's get started. A little sustenance first. Looks like I kissed my alien. I gave him a lipstick kiss. <laughs> Really don't think that's a kiss as much as it is it's your a, lipstick smudging I, on the glass. See, I kiss him. Look, he has a little kiss on okay, his that face. That <laughs> is a kiss. <laughs> oh, I'm a little alien guy. Okay. Oh, by the way, I'm going to contact in the desert. So this is kind of put me in the spirit. All four days. Uh, that's right. I'm working it. All right, here we go. G R O U P G R O U P O T H E R S. Okay. All right, that was <coughs> super long. This is what they wrote. Group, group, group. From the beginning of man to present, and in every and all timelines, and in all things, group, share. Groups, no, excuse me. Groups have played a role sometimes for the good or betterment of the group, but far more often to the detriment of that group and others. Yes? I'm, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, I think they want us to maybe talk about it and they'll give us probably a little more, I'm gonna guess. Um, so so group is, group's always been important. To, They've always exi existed. Yeah. Groups have always existed, um, and, and they're saying either it's, it, sometimes it works for good, sometimes it works for not so good for, for the people or the individuals in the group. Okay, what else do you want to, they probably wanted to stop here, so what else? Oh, guess what, I ran out of paper too, that might have been the reason. Oh, isn't that funny? Well, that, that happens, it's not really funny, it's how it no, works. No, I mean that they stopped there. Yeah, there may be, right, they're probably, let's go for some more, I don't know, let's see. <laughs> okay, that's funny. W H E N G R O U P I N G S When groupings first started, it was generally for mutual protection of the group, which is a good reason. As with all groups that are not carefully regulated by the spirit of the individual, as often happens, a leader is born that completely overwhelms the group and all are subservient to the leader. 
This is leading with power, not with consensus. Okay? I think there's something else here. Let's see what else we have to say. So, this, so just so you guys know, when we typically do sessions just alone or, or people come over and it works like this, they'll make a statement, we might make some comments and maybe don't know, discuss it a little bit and then they, they stop, they do blocks of information, right? And then they give more blocks of it. So I have a feeling they're showing you how one of our sessions looks like. You, what you're used to seeing us do is just get a question, answer it, and that's about it. Or they just give you one long message. Well, I prefer this way, but... It, yeah, this way's fine. <laughs> It's all fun. I don't know. It's all good, right? Yeah. I think we all have our our preferences, but I like the give and take. I do too. I do too. So let's let's, let's I feel like let's just keep going. See what else. Okay. All right. Here we okay. go. So part three, right? Looking at one-handed. Well, two-handed now. Here we go. I'm gonna go one hand. Can you do it? Ah, he did it. W I T H I N That went, you know, uh, three and a half, four, oh, four pages. A, you never know what you guys are going to get. You know, um, they have a lot to say sometimes. I think it, but honestly, I think it said a lot. Um, and oftentimes Wait, in four pages, it yeah. says volumes worth of it'd information. Be, I can't wait to hear what they had to say overall. We, had, we heard the first two little ditties. Now we got the third part. Yeah. I'm putting it all together for you. And I love that they, they started with group, group, group. They love to do things in threes, don't they? Always in threes. Yes, it, yes, yes. But it's also to kind of make an emphasis on it. You know? We're not just talking about a group. We're talking about a group that groups itself into groupings. That's what I think. Well, doesn't that often happen? You have a group, and within that group, you might find yeah. a click. And within that... That's cl true. Do you know what I mean? And, and Or a faction here, or whatever. Yeah, no, I, I agree. That's probably interesting. It's probably one of the reasons why they said that. Should I read it? Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think you should read it. Let's do it. Group, group, group. From the beginning of man to present, and in every and all timelines, and in all things, groups have played a role. Sometimes for the good or betterment of the group, but far more often to the detriment of the group and others. When groupings first started, it was generally for mutual protection of the group, which is a good reason, as with all groups, that are not carefully regulated by the spirit of the individual, um, often happens a leader is born that completely overwhelms the group and all are subservient to the leader. This is leading with power, not with consensus. Within that group ruled with power, there are no individuals and only dutiful persons dedicated to the leader and the message presented there. And any thought of individuality is met with corporal means Corporal means, while individuality should be celebrated, instead it is punished and therefore sooner, uh, and therefore soon erased from the ideas and natural thinking of the people. This ceases then to be a group and soon becomes a power-based monarchy and the individual is reduced to a simple servant. This breeds contempt within and disharmony. Revolt is next and the whole reason for the formation of the group is lost, and no one is really safe now with a heavy hand. And no, and no revolts. The leader seeks even greater power and must look elsewhere for the new power, and therefore looks outside this group to other groups. And now his servants become the soldiers for this leader and will attack others in order to build a greater power base. Wow. 
Heavy duty, huh? What do you think? Uh, you know, here, here's what I think happens oftentimes. We read this and we hear the, 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 the last thing we heard, we spend most of our mm -hmm. time talking about. But one of the things I heard right in the beginning that I'd like to say something about was, can you go back? Do you mind going back and, and reading the part about... Um, the very beginning? The very first page. That's right here. No, no, this one. Oh, second, this one. The second yeah, ditty? The second ditty. Okay. Where it talks about when it loses the spirit of the individual. Okay, it says, I think it's really important. The I think spirit of the individual. That is really important because this is all about protecting the individuality and celebrating individuality. Okay. When groupings first started, it was generally for mutual protection of the group, which is a good reason. As with all groups there that are not carefully regulated by the spirit of the individual, as, as often happens, a leader is born that completely overwhelms the group. That's, so that's the part I'm talking okay. about. Okay. That, that, that the first thing they're saying about a group, a good thing about a group is that it should be ruled by the spirit yeah, of the individual. It. Yeah. Yes. Right? So not not the individual itself, but the mm -hmm. spirit of the individuals, right? Well, As and that would be the reason the passion that you had while you while you joined this group in the first part or even started a group. It's for that idea of what excites you? What are you passionate about? And you don't want to ever lose that drive, that inspiration that that inspiritedness and spirito, spirit moving through you. Being if we're using, if we're using, if we're looking at it metaphorically. Yeah, we should look at this metaphorically. Soldiers and swords and guns Fighting and stuff. And, and well, although it can be, that's a group too, but I think you're saying, let's see it metaphorically. Let's see it in all groups. Yeah. And therefore, yeah. I mean, even the sword groups, right? But let's see it in all, mm -hmm. let's see the message in all groups. And, and what I was talking about was, I'm a, a cyclist or I'm a triathlete. Do I join a club with other triathletes mm -hmm. who have a similar passion? I would still be doing that yeah. passion outside of that group. I join the group to benefit the group, but also um, to benefit me, the individual. And, and I never mm -hmm. lose my individuality. And if, and if I had to somehow um, relinquish my individuality to a leader of that group, then I would walk away from that group because right. then it takes my passion and, and it's, and then I'm living for their passion, not mine anymore. Yeah. Then you lose your focus of yourself and your own evolution on things. I think what's really important. The guides talk about this often is about your free will and freedom and never give that up. Now be a part of a group, enjoy the groups, but just don't forget who you were, who you are, and why you came to that group. And don't forget that you have something just as important to add to the group as anybody else that seems to emerge as the leader. It's okay to have the, the, the rules or the, you, this is the, this is the cons constraints or the parameters of a group, and here's somebody that's going to monitor it and be like the president or vice president or whatever you want to call them of the group. If that's okay, but they're saying if, if, you, if a leader rises where you don't get to be celebrated with your own individual thought within that group, Huh, they're saying, hey, be weary, weary of that. And maybe you might want to think about walking away, maybe. Yeah. Rethinking it, leaving it. And maybe you see it all the group. time. People that, that say, hey, I used to belong to this group. I don't anymore. I, or I outgrew it. I and that's, that's good. That's good. It's, that's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anytime, anytime your individuality um, becomes greater than the group, um, then it's time to walk away. And, and, and or if your individuality is squashed. Within that group. Yeah, that's what's important. It's important that the passion that the feel and the feeling, the spirit, the passion of the group is alive and it's alive if you only get different inputs. This is like what we do, we, you and I do. We do the board session and we love to have this discourse because we both see a different angle of it. And it's not like his way's right, my way's right, you're wrong, I'm wrong, or the guy it's it's like when the you the guides tell us we both have our own ideas about a session. They say both are right. Yeah. Sure, we'll go sure. with both those answers. Because we all have a new way to see things based on our own perceptions, beliefs, filters, and it's really awesome to hear somebody else's opinions and beliefs and thoughts about it as yours, so leave your comments below too. I love hearing <laughs> what you think because um, it gives us another reference, another frame or perspective to look at things uh, that we hear. I hear it through my own filters. You're going to hear it through yours. You hear it through yours. Oh, you're going to hear but it we all come together. a completely different message than we did, and we will in the days to come. Mm -hmm. Re, oh yeah. Reread this and find something completely different than what or, we've or even talked just about. Just a today. new level of hearing. Yeah, yeah, a new level of hearing it. So I always encourage when you we get these messages um, to do that. You know, especially 
um, like we were talking about earlier when we first started this episode was we're going to have that open message interactive message circle for you guys on June 8th um, it's really great when you run along with me <laughs> bring your pen and paper and then you can read the messages over and over again yourself and it, you'll hear it, you'll hear different things in it but it's a theme individuality yeah. freedom independence free will free will that's always a theme with them and yes. I mean even to the even to the I don't know if detriment's the right word, but even they said detriment. even even for them to say, don't listen to a thing we say. Yeah, you know that's I mean? true. Claim your individuality. Don't listen to what mm -hmm. we say. Um, if it's gonna, if it's going to, if you're gonna lose that individuality, that's that right. Independence. That's right. I think that's a that's a, a powerful message, and um, you know, let us know again what you heard from this message as well. How how it reflects within yourself and. How are you individual? <laughs> How do you continue to maintain your individuality while still being part of a community, a village, a group, a family, a friendship, a club, etc.? So it's something interesting to always think about. Anything else you want to add? No. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and close the session with the guides. We will show you what we do. You've seen us do it sometimes. Other times we, we will do it later. But we're going to go ahead and ask them now to give us their final message. So what I do is say, hey, thank you so much for this message today for the groups. And what would you like to say as your final closing statement? A, S, A, N, I, N, D, I, B, I D U A L D O N O T F E A R T H E G R O U P B U T K N O W W H E N T O R E C L A I M Y O you ah okay they said as an individual do not fear the group but know when to reclaim you very succinct uh, it, it, that kind of wraps the whole thing up wraps it up yeah don't don't fear belonging to groups that's not what this is about it's about being aware of yourself and your relationship to the group and never never lose you because all of us have our own unique gifts and abilities and things to bring forth and you don't want to repress those you want to bring those forth i think we i actually think we seek out groups i think yeah. we think, think we seek out like-minded mm -hmm. individuals people who like the same things we do yeah at, at the same time don't ever give up no one to reclaim you yeah no one to them to keep to keep that part of you alive all right let's say goodbye to the guys we just say goodbye um I gotta tell you, the planchet, we, they never move it to a goodbye. They never have. So we just say goodbye here and give appreciation. So thank you guys so much for the inspiration, words of wisdom, and the message for us today and for our group here. <laughs> and with that, we say thank you and goodbye. That's it. One thing I would, I'd like to mention, as good as this message was, the precursor to this oh. message is uh, is on the YouTube channel for Talking Board Historical Society. Yeah. Um, it, it might be worth going over to the Talking Board Historical Society YouTube channel and yep. watching the first part one, part one of kind of part one of this, and mm -hmm. and then watch this or or relive this yeah. after you watch that. And and that one was released on uh, May twenty fifth, Friday, May twenty fifth, so uh, two thousand eighteen. So yeah, go go check that out too. And if you haven't already, join that. Channel as well. Because it's really good. That message is really good. Yeah, it's fun. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for being here with us today. This is Creative Visions TV. I'm Karen Dahlman, and this is Rodney, my board partner. 
Ouija Whisper. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye.